Welcome back to Bluegrass on this beautiful April afternoon. I'm out here uh, addressing a question that I get all the time, which is, hey, Stoney, what do you think about people petting your dog when you take them out in public? Uh, well, from my perspective, uh, should you let someone pet your dog when you take it out in public? Uh, the answer is an unequivocal yes. I mean, if you have a kind of dog that like you can't take out in public because you're worried about it jumping on people or biting people, uh, then like that's your problem, you know, and you need to fix it or not, not go out in public. So for me, uh, like every day, I think in terms of what might happen. Uh, one of the things that happens a lot with dogs uh, when they're out in public and somebody's petting them or getting them excited uh, is the dog jumps up. Uh, and now, you know, so we practice with a walker every day because a lot of people have had accidents or maybe they're a little older. They're having to use a walker. They see a dog. They're really excited about seeing the dog. So they talk to the dog from the dog's perspective, especially if it's a young dog. It says, hey, this person wants to party. So it goes to jump up. It gets the leash tangled up in the walker. Eh. Well, listen, uh, bad things happen. So every day, George, go over here and practice with these dogs. We practice, you know, having someone in a walker pet the dogs, right? Okay, now in your local area, you just think, you go out and you think about what you're liable to run into. And sometimes it's gonna be older people in a walker, you know, sometimes it's gonna be young people on a bicycle, okay? So George comes out and he helps me do the walker. Now, for those of you who have dogs that uh, aren't at the stage where they can handle, uh, you know, being petted because they get too excited and jump up, just practice on a leash. So George comes over here and he gets this dog excited. And I'm going to have George go out of his way talking nice to this dog to try to get it excited. Basically ask it to jump up. And I just use my leash. I just use my leash to keep it from being able to jump up. And then when it gets calm, attentive, and polite, I'll reward it. And we'll do this over and over and over again until the dog looks at George walking up. It's just part of a game uh, where this person tries to get them to jump up. And if they refuse that temptation, then they get rewarded. Uh, it works really well. I mean, when I say it works really well, it works 100% of the time if you will train consistently and with persistence. Okay, now, if you're in a position where you need it to stop a little faster and you don't and, and the dog is jumping on you. You just lay your leash down. You can step on it and you can do it. Oh my gosh, what a pretty dog. Dog tries to jump up. Can't have any success at that. And I'm using this dog here because this is a dedicated uh, case on uh, jumper, right? But I just use my leash to make it not able to jump up. So then it has to choose keeping its feet on the ground. And then every so often I say, hey, I appreciate you. And uh, dog says, okay, well, I think I can get the hang of this game. Because remember, when the dog's jumping up, it's not trying to ruin your day. It's just trying to like, you know, interact with you in a way that makes sense for, for it, right? Okay, now, you got little kids. Come on, Charlotte, bring your bicycle over here. You just do the same thing. Got a dog chases bicycles. I got a dog chases kids. This little, this little child might want to like come over here and be on the bicycle. Come around this way, Charlotte, and then try to get this dog to jump up. Pet it and love on it. Right here, just stop your bicycle and then start talking to it. Yeah, you, st you can stay on your bicycle. Now what happens here, kids and bikes, dog jumps on the kid on the bike, uh, the bike falls over, the kid cries, you know, it's a big mess. Or the leash gets tied up around the pedals. I mean, it can be a big mess. So again, we play the same game. Charlotte tries to get the dog excited. The dog has an appropriate response. I click and treat. And every time I do it, you know, because people always ask me, they say, hey, Stoney, hey, do you have to always use the food work? No, of course not. When you're doing food work, uh, you just have to do it enough times to get the dog in the habit of doing what you'd like because the food is actually a physical manifestation of your pleasure. It's not about the calories, okay? So, uh, Charlotte, come on back over here. So after we've done this a few times, like with this dog, I still have to physically manage it because it has a long history of jumping, okay? But, like, um, Charlotte, like, do it with George. Watch, look at George. George staying over there perfect, okay? He was trained with the same methodology and uh, he's 100% uh, you know, calm, attentive, and polite regardless of the distraction level, okay? So uh, basically, uh, I think, yes, dogs should be petted in public. I think it should be encouraged. Uh, and uh, my only real rule about it is, is that dogs should understand that there's a lot of people they're gonna run into in public and those people aren't gonna have good sense, right? You know, I call it a Xanax and red wine problem. You know, who knows if they've been drinking or they're just crazy. I don't know. We're going to run into all kinds in the world, right? And so I'm going to get my dog out early and socialize it so that it realizes we live in an inclusive uh, community. And not everybody always holds up their end of the bargain, but we're always going to hold up ours. All right, I'll see you next week.